Good morning, we're back at the airport. It's so early. It's, so early. it's like 6 a.m., right? We're uh, flying back home. Well, flying back, not, we're flying back to Orlando. Oh yeah, flying to Atlanta first, but then we're flying into Orlando. Not going home. We're doing something else really special. Yeah, but we are getting on a plane. It's so cold in this jetway. Yeah, Holy cow. <laughs> I feel like this airport is busier than LAX. I remember this place. I feel like we were just here. We were. Waiting on a plane to Orlando. We're just waiting, watching the planes fly away. Orlando, here we come. That's been a plane. get back to Orlando uh, to a hotel. I don't know what you guys were thinking. We're checking into the Dolphin for one night and I'm, uh, I'm kind of excited for it. I hear the beds here are luxurious. Here it is, we're checking into our king size room in the Dolphin Resort and we have a theme park view where we will be able to see Jingle Bells Jingle Bam tonight. Like that's the Tower of Terror right there. Heck yeah, that's exciting. Now that we're all checked in, I'm gonna go on an adventure to try to find like a snack or some food. I actually don't know where I'm at right now or where the elevators are. I think they were back there. I think I gotta go that way. Oops. <laughs> oh no, I went the wrong way. That's not where the elevators are. I feel like it would help if I just read the sign that said elevators are this way. Gonna stop off at Fuel to get a little snacky snack. Inside of Fuel, I was just checking out some of their like uh, cookies and stuff like that. And then I noticed They've got some Food & Wine Classic merchandise here, and we actually went to a night for the Food & Wine Classic, and we'll put that video in right now. Good evening, everybody. We're here at the Swan & Dolphin because they are having what they call the Food & Wine Classic. So, uh, basically, it's almost like a mini version of Epcot's Food & Wine Festival. The menu looked really good, though. Like, yeah. really good. And because there was inclement weather tonight, normally it's outside, but now it's inside. So, we're heading in there. So, here we are. We have entered the convention space where they moved it to because of the uh, inclement weather. And it is very loud down here because the band is used to playing outside. So I don't know if this is how it was set up when it was outside, but basically the center area of this room is all wine. And then on the outside is where all the food is. So we're gonna go up to this fresh place here and get the food they have to offer. So this is the Thai chicken salad with organic greens, green papaya, and tamarind ginger dressing. This is the dragon roll with crispy shrimp, tuna, avocado, and Japanese mayonnaise. This is the sirloin steak with demi-glaze and mashed potatoes. This is the mini pulled pork slider with macaroni and cheese. Here's the Jaeger schnitzel, which is lightly breaded pork with spatzel. This is the Riefsen pretzel? I might be saying that wrong. Warm pretzel with German mustard. 
This is a beer called Brondo, which is a reference to the movie Idiocracy. This one's the Bratwurst with house-made sauerkraut and potato salad. And here's a quick look at some of the desserts they had to offer during the food and wine event. This actually looks pretty darn good. Do you think they time out this song every night to like play exactly when the fireworks are happening? Oh, you know, just sitting here getting ready to eat my sandwich, looking out the window at uh, Tower of Terror over there. <laughs> this is awesome. I wanted to show you guys the sandwich that I got. This is called the Hammy. It's like a hot ham and cheese sandwich, and boy, does it look delicious. I also got some some baked lace for Jen. I got myself some Miss Vicky's barbecue chips. And then, for Jen, I also got Old Smokey, which is a turkey sandwich that there's uh, just like a grab and go. I've got so many cameras set up ready to capture Jingle Bell, Jingle Bam. Um, I'm a little bit early. I've still got like three hours before it happens. Well, two hours before it happens, but I'm ready. You just wait. All right, where are you? This is where I sit to watch the fireworks so that the other cameras get a better view. <laughs> because if, if I was sitting where that camera is, I would have the perfect view of the fireworks. But this one right here, and then we have one right here too. Oh, the things you do. Oh, I just gave myself cramp. Oh no, are you okay? Yeah. So now that the fireworks are done, we're not actually gonna end the video here, but we are gonna go to sleep. We're gonna end the video tomorrow morning after we wake up and tell you our thoughts on what sleeping in this hotel room was like. Cause that's like, that's a real hotel, uh, there's Jen. I'll say this, I already napped a little bit because I got sort of sick on the plane earlier and it was so nice. This bed was so nice, it was quiet, it was comfortable. I slept really well. I feel a lot better now, so. That's, I can give you a, like a half review. Yeah, <laughs> so, I like it. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we're gonna give you guys like, I know I'm bad at reviews, but I'm gonna try my hardest to like tell you how I slept. Maybe I'll tell you my dreams and like all my inner thoughts <laughs> after I wake up. <laughs> but first we ordered pizza from some place called Anthony's. It was in the book here that came with the room. I can't tell if it's in the hotel or not though. Yeah, well they said we could charge it to our room. Well anyways, here's the pizza. It looks good. <laughs> the next morning. <laughs> uh, yeah. The bed was really nice. It's uh, 
I don't, I don't know what the actual name of the bed is. I think that it's uh, like a dream bed or something like that. Yeah. But it's not as soft as you would imagine it is by the name. No, it is kind of firm. Yeah. But it was comfortable. It was like, very comfortable. I get now when people are like, I want a firm mattress. Like, I understand what they mean now. I think they mean this. Yeah. It was a... Uh, not hard. No. Firm. Yeah. Just and a... they also give you two kinds of pillows. They give you like a fluffy pillow that's kind of like sturdy. Mm -hmm. And then they give you like a down, like a feather pillow. Yeah. Which I think is really nice. <laughs> and then also I think that the true MVP of the bed was the... Uh, the comforter. Oh yeah, the comforter was nice because it was heavy. Weighs like a thousand pounds and that I love. It's like being hugged all night long. Uh, <laughs> it's true though. It felt really nice. Yeah. The, uh, yeah, the room was nice. It I was enjoyed nice. it. Um, I don't, the only like complaint that I would have, and this is just being like nitpicky, is that um, housekeeping is very loud. Yeah. So in the morning they come kind of early and most people are at the parks. That's not what we were doing this trip. We weren't doing like a park trip. So we were still in here, but they were, you could hear them yelling back and forth to each other. You could hear them slamming doors and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I get it, they're doing their job, but it was just, they could probably be a little bit quieter. Other than that, um, everything was actually fairly quiet. Like you couldn't really hear the other people. You could hear their hair dryer in the morning. Yeah. I but... heard the neighbor's hair dryer at 6.30 this morning, but that was the only thing I ever heard out of them. Yeah, it was very quiet for the most part, which was nice. The other thing that I thought was really nice is that the coffee maker is Starbucks coffee and they give you Dasani bottled water. Oh yeah. You get two per day. So I use the Dasani bottled water to make the Starbucks coffee. Oh, fancy. Yeah, and mm -hmm. it was really, really delicious. I thought it was pretty good. I do think that they, them giving you the water is, is really nice. They don't have to do that. And I know that it, at most places, those little bottles are 350 if you take one and they, you know, for the incidental um, charge or whatever. So to get those for free is actually pretty nice, I think. Yeah. So with that, I would say Swan and Dolphin, definitely a nice resort to stay at if you're coming to Disney. Yeah, and if you can get the resort view room, watching those fireworks from the room was really cool. Like oh. that was definitely a big plus for me. Yeah, and I wanted to mention there are two like two wings that go like this. I think the ones that are over there that have the balcony and stuff have a better oh, view of MGM's they, fireworks. Yeah, they definitely did have a better view. Because Swan and Dolphin actually invited us out to stay, so they comped this room for us. We didn't pay for this. They uh, they they kind of picked like what room we got. We didn't get to pick. But if you get to pick when you come, you should try to stay on that other side so that you can really get a really straight on vantage point of the fireworks. Another little plus point is that this is a Starwood hotel. So if you are a member of their rewards, uh, point system mm -hmm. you can use points to stay here oh so but you still get some of the disney perks which is yeah. pretty cool so yeah i don't know it's kind of like the best of both worlds i feel like yeah yeah hannah montana <laughs> so with that being said we are off and we'll see you guys tomorrow and, and now, now it's time, time to, to pay, pay the, the price, price.